Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Even for 1.4 nanometers, TSMC will not use high NAE UV lithography machines in the short term. TSMC co-deputy chief operating officer Kevin Chang recently reiterated that the company is cautious about adopting high numerical aperture EUV lithography equipment and emphasized that TSMC is not in a hurry to put this advanced technology into mass production. His remarks have once again triggered industry speculation about ASML's multi-billion dollar next-generation lithography platform. According to ASML, assembling a high numerical aperture EUV lithography system is a global logistics feat. The four main modules of the system are produced at multiple locations in the United States, Germany and the Netherlands. The components are then shipped to ASML's headquarters in Veldhoven, where they are assembled, tested and certified, before being disassembled and shipped to wafer fabs in Asia, or the United States. The transportation process alone requires seven partially loaded Boeing 747 cargo planes, or at least 25 large trucks. ASML unveils its behemoth, bigger than a double-decker bus. Inside a sprawling, bustling factory in the Netherlands, ASML is showing off a machine it believes will rewrite the future of semiconductor manufacturing. Taking nearly a decade to build and costing more than $400 million, the high NA EUV system is the most advanced and expensive chip-making tool ever made. In a rare move of transparency, ASML recently granted CNBC exclusive access to its lab, marking the first time the high NA EUV system has been filmed. Even ASML's internal team rarely gets to see the assembled device so closely. The system, which Asha Hadu, head of the high NA EUV certification team, calls bigger than a double-decker bus, consists of four modular components built in Connecticut, California, Germany, and the Netherlands. Final assembly, testing, and certification take place in Veldhoven. The size and complexity of the system makes logistics a feat in itself. TSMC, high NA can wait, there's still room for standard EUV. While Intel has deployed high NA EUV systems in its R&D pipeline for its 18A process node, TSMC has chosen a more cautious approach. Kevin Chang confirmed that even the company's most advanced nodes, the A14, 1.4 nanometers, and A16, 1.6 nanometers, will not use high NA EUV in the short term. Everyone is curious about when TSMC will deploy high NA EUV technology. The answer is simple when it can bring meaningful, measurable benefits, we will adopt it," Kevin Chang said at TSMC's European Technology Symposium in late May. Until then, TSMC engineers are working to expand the capabilities of current standard NAEUV systems, extend their lifespan, and extract more value. The SemiWiki community described this confident approach as a manifestation of TSMC's technological arrogance, and that's the best interpretation. ASML is confident. Despite TSMC's cautious attitude, 
ASML remains optimistic about the widespread adoption of high numerical aperture EUV lithography systems. Its CEO Christophe Fouquet has secured orders from the world's three largest logic chip makers Intel, TSMC, and Samsung to provide them with high numerical aperture EUV lithography systems. It is worth mentioning that Intel has doubled down and recently installed a second high numerical aperture EUV lithography system at its R&D plant in Oregon. The company reported that the equipment has met expectations and is steadily advancing production preparations. Fouquet continued to emphasize the importance of Intel saying that despite Intel's recent difficulties, Intel remains its cornerstone customer and a key player in maintaining the independence of U.S. semiconductors. However, the barriers to entry in this field remain high. To date, only five high numerical aperture EUV lithography machines have been delivered worldwide. But ASML is not discouraged and expects that all existing EUV customers, including memory giants Micron and SK Hynix, as well as Japan's Rapidus, will eventually switch to high numerical aperture EUV. ASML plans to ship at least five additional high NA tools in 2025 and plans to expand annual production to 20 in the next few years. The Arizona Fab could accelerate TSMC's timeline. While TSMC has yet to incorporate high NA into its mainstream roadmap, ASML is betting that demand will materialize soon, especially with TSMC's new Arizona plant, which has officially entered mass production and is now the most advanced semiconductor plant in the United States. To meet this challenge, ASML is building its first training center in the United States in Arizona. The center is scheduled to be operational in the second half of 2025 and will train up to 1,200 EUV and DUV engineers each year. According to Fouquet, the center is not only intended to support the United States' chipmaking ambitions, but also to cultivate global talent. Looking ahead, ASML is already drawing up a blueprint for the next frontier supernumerical aperture EUV. Fouquet revealed that the preliminary optical design has been completed and the manufacturing complexity of the system may not be as high as people worry. He predicts that the demand for supernumerical aperture EUV will appear between 2032 and 2035.